today we are the only freestanding children's hospital in the area dedicated to serving all children of the area. Um, and it is our mission to make sure that the excellence that has come before us is continued into the future. Um, and like we do with all of our meetings, um, I would like to call Sister Michelle up to start our meeting with the reflection. And thank you, Joe, and especially for all of the years that the foundation has made sure that this ministry to children continues. And I feel honored to be invited to share not only my own thoughts, but especially to speak for Sister Sarah, who would be here. And she wanted Dr. Nento especially to know of her affection and love and her thoughts today, as I'm sure that she is right now thinking about all of us. And so it is my honor to share her reflections on this special occasion, the ceremony of the investiture of Dr. Daniel Nento as the recipient of the Ruina Gorman Endowed Chair in Pediatric Cardiology. We expend a special welcome to Dr. Daniel's wife, Adriana, and his two twin, the twins, Emily and Maxie, and say welcome to you all and thank you for sharing him with us. Best wishes and a happy birthday to Dr. Daniel today. May it be the beginning of many years of health, joy, and many special blessings as a professional and personally in your family. Dr. Daniel, today we rejoice with you as you receive this prestigious honor. It is a public recognition of your academic achievements and demonstrated competencies and skills as a pediatric cardiologist. Congratulations. We stand in admiration of your dedicated heart surgical skills. And with all children, but especially those dear little ones in the neonate area. Throughout his life, Dr. Nento has been supported and guided by strong faith and also belief in God's gift of healing power gifted to him through his hands as a cardiac surgeon and the correction of ailments of children. We stand in awe of that. As a part of this ceremony and a reflection, we will be offering a special blessing to Doctor as we bless his hands today and invite his family to come forward with him in a moment. Dr. Nento, we, the family of Chosa, are especially grateful and extend to you, your wife, and your children our gratitude for choosing this ministry to extend the healing ministry of Jesus Christ through your gifts, the gifts you have been given to do that. And on this special birthday, Sister Sarah wanted me to quote a very important passage from Deuteronomy, or excuse me, from the book of Numbers. The Lord bless you and keep you. May he let his face shine upon you and remain with you. The Lord look kindly upon you and surround you with his peace and love always. Now I would like to invite you up, doctor, 
and your wife and your beautiful children. And I remember and ask you to the words of St. Teresa who reminded us that our hands are instruments through which daily we bring compassion, dignity, stewardship, and excellence in all we do. And doctor, as you look at your hands, hold them out in front of you, we invite you to give thanks for the gift that you are for so many to bring healing to many children with heart defects and also to bring that peace to their parents. We thank you for choosing to bring your esteemed art of surgical health repair to God's precious children. I will now bless your hands with sacred oil, oil that has been blessed, oil that has always been a symbol of anointing and we bring that to you today. May God bless you. May God strengthen you that you may always use those gifts of mind and heart through these hands to all who you go to. Thank you, Sister Michelle. And I'm going to anoint your little ones that are now growing up very fast May God strengthen each of you to always be that faithful companion that walks with this wonderful man as he gives his skills to so many. And we ask the Lord's blessing on you as a family as well as the work you do. May God bless you. Thank you, Sister Michelle. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is Cliff Hurd. I have the unenviable, unenviable task of uh, following Sister Michelle. Thank you, Sister Michelle, appreciate it. Um, I'm the chairman of the, uh, of the board for the Children's Hospital of San Antonio Endowment Fund. That's a big, meaty uh, title for basically the person that sits on the board that runs the endowment. Um, so the endowment is essential to our goal of being a world-class children's hospital. Um, we support the hospital's growth, we enable it to take on programs for reasons other than profit, and to better serve the community. Gifts for endowed chairs are managed alongside the endowment, and the earnings are used by the chairholder and his or her department to support the needs of clinical care, research, and educational opportunities. So the history of endowed chairs dates back to 1502, or if you Google for a little bit, you might find that it dates back to 176 AD and Marcus Aurelius. But anyway, they've been around for a long time. Um, today, we're proud to continue the tradition of presenting our chairholders with a chair, along with to, or to honor their academic success, as well as a special medallion that you can see here that's been cast uh, to commemorate this, uh, this occasion and to signify the partnership between the donor the Children's Hospital of San Antonio and the Foundation, as well as our academic affiliation with Baylor College of Medicine. Uh, Children's Hospital of San Antonio endowed chairs enhance medical services and programs for children. They foster excellence among medical professionals and are powerful resources in the recruitment and retention of top physicians. In 2009, the Gorman Family Foundation made a donation for the creation and appointment of an endowed chair named for Rowena C. Gorman in pediatric cardiac, cardiac, cardiac surgery. Uh, Jim, who I had the pleasure of knowing, was extensively involved in civic and philanthropic activities in San Antonio and was a longtime friend of Krista Santa Rosa and the Children's Hospital and was a lifetime member of the board. I would occasionally run into him at board meetings, and I don't think he was there for the free lunch. He was an active board member 
and engaged in the, in the community and really loved Christus. Tina was also, not to be outdone by her husband, was also dedica dedicated her life to giving to her community. Tina was a great friend of Santa Rosa and the Children's Hospital for many years, and she helped plan the 25th and 50th anniversary celebrations. Uh, although they can't join us today, we're happy or lucky to have Mickey Schott, who's the president of the Gorman Foundation, join us. Mickey, if I could call you up and hand it over to you. Thank you, Cliff, and, th and thank you so much for all the work that you've done all these many years on the foundation board and also as now chair of the uh, endowment board. Um, I've got a little flavor of what that's like, so I, I sympathize with you. But uh, so happy to be here with all of y'all. And uh, on behalf of the Gorman Foundation, I want to thank you for your, well, I'm sorry, I want to thanks also to the medical professionals that are here um, all of the, the service personnel from the hospital, everyone here who does so much uh, for the children in the community that we serve. A very special greeting and thank you also to the Sisters of Charity and the Incarnate Word uh, for your lifelong commitment to the care of our children. It, uh, it's never stopped and it never will, and uh, we love you for it. Jim always used to say at our meetings, uh, Trust the sisters, stick with the sisters, and you'll be, you'll be fine. <laughs> and he meant that very seriously. This is a very special day for Dr. Nento as he is installed as the holder of the Rowena C. Gorman Chair in Pediatric Cardiac Surgery. It's a privilege for me to participate in a small way on behalf of Tina and Jim Gorman and their legacy as we entrust this chair and all of the responsibilities and opportunities that go with it to Dr. Daniel Nento. Doctor, we're proud. Those of you who know San Antonio well will remember and appreciate that Tina and Jim were the perfect example of a wonderful team who were very selective in which important and meaningful causes they chose to support. <coughs> And once chosen, they became totally committed for the long haul. We owe our thanks to them for all they have done and continue to do through their legacy of the foundation for the Children's Hospital of San Antonio. Thank you very much, Dr. Nento. Congratulations to you and God bless everyone. I think I'm supposed to introduce Dr. Mohammed Muntaz. Who who I had the privilege of installing as the first holder of the Rowena C. Gorman <laughs> Endowed Chair. Thank you, Ernest. Thank you. Thank you. Those are some very inspirational words to follow, especially from Sister Sarah and uh, Sister Michelle. Um, Bismillah rahman rahim With the name of my dear Lord, Allah, the gracious, the merciful. Dear friends and colleagues, it's a privilege and a distinct honor for me to be back at the Children's Hospital of San Antonio today. I see some very young faces like Mark Gilger and Abhishek <laughs> and Dan Nanto and a lot of folks and it's just so grand to see everybody here again. Um, I'm here really for a very close friend, remarkable clinician and a leader who is so well known to you, Dr. Daniel Nento. Dr. Daniel Nento, as you already heard, joined this temporary board we call Earth on a bright spring day. Believe it or not, it was spring in Argentina at that time. <laughs> exactly half a century ago, to a very proud and happy Nuncia and Hector Nento. And here he's being baptized. Uh, he was quite disappointed, not at the baptism, but for not being in this wonderful August state of Texas. <laughs> However, he was soon very, very delighted at finding out what the future held for him. What a lovely baby. <laughs> Just pause. I mean, you're all about babies, right? <laughs> I 
<laughs> what a lovely baby. <laughs> um, he started preparing early. Got a bicycle, but that was kind of primitive, and then went on to make some advanced means of mobility. Thank God uh, he realized that um, they're not going to get him here and moved on to some higher means of uh, mobility, otherwise we'd still be waiting for him. Uh, what many of you probably know by now, since I don't think Dan has stayed quiet about it, is that Argentina, Argentina is known to the world for soccer. And what you may not realize is also known to the world for about cardiac surgery. Cardiac surgery legends like Rene Favelaro, the first surgeon to do coronary artery bypass grafting at Cleveland Clinic, and Guillermo Kruetzer, the first surgeon along with Dr. Fontaine to describe the atrocable connection for single ventricle palliation, walked on the same sacred land along the likes of Maradona and Messi, who really don't need any uh, introduction. However, as we can see in this picture, no human being is unaffected by the satanic forces of distraction from their true destiny. Danny was no different. Early in his career, he had to make the difficult choice between soccer and heart surgery. What should I do? Soccer, heart surgery. <laughs> Thank God it was the hair that did it. He realized his hair is pointing in the wrong direction, so he can't be, can't be messy anymore. <laughs> um, so he chose to study hard, lose hair instead, graduating summa cum laude from Cuyo National Medical University in the beautiful, very beautiful province of Mendoza, Argentina, a province known for its wines and steak. More to come on that. During this time, he met his beautiful wife, Adriana. After getting married, he started a very, very sought after, one of the top pediatric cardiac surgery residencies, if not the top in, in Argentina, in Buenos Aires, under Dr. Guillermo Kreutzer, who, um, who was a legend of his time. Um, after finishing his training, he found out about Dr. Roger Mee, who used to be at Cleveland Clinic at that time, and was another pioneer of his time and he came to Cleveland Clinic in 2006. That's where we first met him. However, little been known to him, Dr. Mee had retired a few months prior to his arrival. Upon my explaining that I had more hair on my head than Dr. Mee and would be delighted to help him achieve his goals, he really was thrilled. <laughs> and that started a friendship that's so dear to me and has stood the test of time and distance, as you will learn. He completed his training at Cleveland Clinic and spent another year as a chief resident under Dr. Del Nido at Boston Children's Hospital, who is another living legend, legend who's described really the current methods of myocardial protection. Subsequently, in 2009, he returned, returned to the beautiful province of uh, Mendoza. And there, he set up a very successful practice of pediatric cardiac surgery, the only one in the state. There is his family who were rejoiced to have him. That's his sister, his mother, and his brother. In 2013, I was blessed and joined this esteemed institution. I was very fortunate enough to convince Adriana. And yes, Adriana, that's the person I convinced. And I take credit for that. <laughs> I convinced Adriana and, of course, Danny to move to San Antonio. From the outset, Danny has been an outstanding surgeon with great outcomes in pediatric heart surgery. He is a warm friend, providing outstanding help to me in the care of my patients while I was in San Antonio. Despite his busy schedule, he continued to advise me about my patients, visits his family in the beautiful state of Mendoza, and occasionally even holds the hands of a friend like me, who is afraid of needles. I'm getting, a, I'm getting a flu shot, and of course he was there. Uh, Adriana and him have raised two beautiful twins who are finding high horizons in this lovely and blessed home of the brave and land of the free. And now comes the steak. <laughs> I am so happy he is being honored with this investiture 
by a family who I know and have experienced that they have supported the education and research in pediatric cardiac surgery for over a decade. For this, I extend my deepest gratitude to the governments and government foundation. The Prophet of Islam, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, has been quoted to say that the giving hand is better than the receiving hand. May Allah bless them, the governments and this foundation, with a long, healthy and wealthy life. May they continue to benefit those around them, as well as each other in more ways they can imagine. Today, Danny is here with his beautiful wife, Adriana, and their twins, Max and Emily. Danny, congratulations to you at this distinct honor, and my thanks to Adriana, Emily, and Max for being here, for supporting Danny in this world-class endeavor, including the love of Argentinian steak, and of course, his late grandmother. Thank you very much. Next, we'll have a video from Dr. Tomislav Mihaljevic, Chief Executive Officer and President in Cleveland Clinic, at Cleveland Clinic. Congratulations to our friend, Dr. Daniel Nento. His appointment to endowed chair in pediatric cardiac surgery honors a career of dedicated service. I met Daniel 15 years ago when he trained at Cleveland Clinic. It was clear that he would stand out in this profession. As an immigrant, Daniel showed his passion for honest and hard work. He had a noble aim to provide the highest quality care for the smallest patients. He won an award for the best research paper among our scientists. And to further his education, he told me his desire to train at Boston Children's Hospital. Being a clinician requires a lifelong sacrifice. It means developing oneself to give back to others. This has always been Daniel's approach. As a chair, Daniel will advance research, education, and teamwork. His contributions to medicine will be greater and allow more clinicians to touch lives. From your colleagues at Cleveland Clinic, we wish Dr. Nento and the Children's Hospital of San Antonio continued success. I, uh, I have the very heady responsibility of, of helping to secure the investiture of a very, very dear friend. And I want to stand back just a minute and look at the room full of friends and colleagues and admirers, uh, people who wish you the best, but even more than that, wish you success. And, and uh, they recognize that, that your success is their success. And that as we continue to build and to grow as, as the, the only freestanding children's hospital in San Antonio, and as we do that in a partnership with the Baylor College of Medicine, it allows and permits and encourages us to bring uh, physicians and surgeons such as Dr. Nento here, uh, who, you know, it, I'll reflect on some of the words, um, uh, servant leadership and, and giving is better than receiving uh, and living by example and holding all of us accountable to those same standards. This is truly a remarkable day. Now I know this, uh, this endowment was named uh, a, a period of time ago. Today is the opportunity to, to do the investiture and, and, and to recognize its, its holder. Um, Having held an endowed chair previously, what this does, in addition to giving you the stature and the distinctiveness that you deserve, Danny, is it gives you uh, the ability to make a difference for your people, to make a difference for your patients and, and for your team. It also, though, gives you the responsibility to the, 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 the foundation who provided this fund and, and, and to give them continuous feedback on, on the value that the fund brings to your people and to our patients and to their families. What an honor to be a part of this. And I see it in all of the eyes of, 
uh, and the faces of those in, in, you know, in the audience today. What a gathering and what a recognition. Um, the difference that, um, that, that we can make in, in South Texas uh, and West Texas and uh, Central Texas is, is just been touched, just been touched. Uh, and it's with Danny's um, understanding of our regional presence and the way that we can make an impact so, so much beyond uh, just Bear County, just San Antonio, that um, you know, it makes me want to stay on his coattails as long as I possibly can. As I recognize that if I'm in his wake, that I'm going to be successful as well. Danny, what a, a wonderful friend, your family. I've cooked with you. I haven't cooked, I've eaten what you've cooked. Uh, and uh, the red wine and, and the, the, the beef and, and the fellowship, most importantly. Uh, if you would, Danny, please join me. Uh, and I'd like to uh, share with you this honor. I, I, it's such a privilege for me to be here uh, with you today. And I think I actually will be doing this. Let me just say um, on behalf of Chris Daskovich, our CEO, the executive team, uh, on behalf of the Children's Hospital of San Antonio Foundation and its board, and by the authority of the Board of Trustees of Baylor College of Medicine, it is truly a privilege, a heartfelt privilege, to invest you, Dr. Daniel Nento, as the recipient and the steward the steward of the Rowena C. Gorman Endowed Chair in Pediatric Cardiac Surgery. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> it's all yours. Oh, oh, the, the, forgive me. Oh, please, come, it's coming. Uh, and it actually is a chair, and uh, the most comfortable of chairs, I'm sure. Um, ready? Here we go. There it is. Thank you. Congratulations. Take a seat. Try it out. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> it's the first time he sat all day. Thank you. Danny, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Well, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> Thank you very much to everybody. Thank you, Norm, for your beautiful speech. Thank you for your kind introduction. It is an honor for me to receive this endowed chair in pediatric cardiac surgery. Thank you very much. And Ali, were you there? Well, thank you very much to you as well, Ali. Not only for your very kind and funny introduction, <laughs> but more importantly, Ali, for your friendship during these so many years. Proud said, let us be grateful to people who make us happy. They are the charming gardeners who make our soul blossom. Along with your friendship, Ali, you are the reason I'm standing here today. Not only did you invite me to be your partner, you also completely convinced me and my wife to move from Argentina. You told me that this change was going to be good for me and my family. You know what, Ali, you were right. The city, the hospital, the people I met here are amazing. And I always, always will be grateful to you. Thank you, Ali. As you all can imagine, today is a very important day for me. Not only because I'm turning 50 year old today, <laughs> which is important, <laughs> but more importantly, because I have the honor to receive this endowed chair in cardiac surgery. It has been a long journey since I was that child who wanted to become a doctor. I always wanted to be like my pediatrician, taking care of small babies in need. So I went to medical school to follow that dream. Once there, I quickly realized that in Mendoza, my hometown from Argentina, there wasn't a pediatric cardiac surgeon. And children with congenital cardiac malformation had to either be transferred to the capital city of my country or they unfortunately, they will die. That's why after getting my medical degree, I then pursued becoming a pediatric cardiac surgeon to help my community in Mendoza. 
I was fortunate enough that after finishing my training at Cleveland Clinic and Boston Children's Hospital, I was able to go back to Mendoza and create a pediatric heart program there. When I left in 2015, we were completing more than 200 cases a year. Now, for almost eight years, I have been working at our lovely children's hospital. I have tried my best to help the babies and their families here with the same passion I brought since I started my career. And so many of you have made it possible by helping me along the way to fulfill that dream. I only have words of appreciation for everybody. First, to Rowena Gorman and her family. Rowena couldn't be here today, but her lovely heart and legacy remains with all of us. Her generosity has allowed us to help hundreds of children with congenital heart disease who are now at home with their families having a normal life. In addition, we have been able to help our nurses and physicians with their continued education. This has allowed them to gain the knowledge necessary to provide world-class care to our patients. Also, we have published more than 15 papers, many of them unique in our field. With this funding, we have also purchased portable blood pressure monitors and created the only hypertension clinic for children in San Antonio and South Texas. We are also in the process of purchasing a 3D printer to make our models for our patients, which is very important when planning complex surgeries. For all those improvements and the many others that will come, on behalf of all our patients, thank you to Rowena and Jean Gorman and their family. I also would like to thank the members of the foundation, especially John Bell, Terry Kyle, and Dr. Thompson. Not only for the trust they put in me, but for honoring me as the recipient of this endowed chair in cardiac surgery. Please know, I will do my best to use these resources in the most efficient and wise way. I would also like to express my gratitude to all of the hospital leaders, both present and past. Chris Daskevich, Dr. Christopher, Christine Kerin, Dr. Hankins, and Dr. Gilger. You gave me the opportunity to lead our cardiac surgical program. I'm sure that by working together, we will grow our heart center to become the destination center of San Antonio and South Texas, and in that way, continue our mission to extend the healing ministry of Jesus Christ. Thank you also to Dr. Barnes, Dr. Apache, Dr. Deering, Don, and Gillian for the support and good advice you always give to me. Then I would like to give a very special thanks to my team. I'm not going to be able to name each and every one of you. However, I would really like to mention my appreciation and admiration to Liz, Amanda, Lauren, and Jen for their dedication to our babies and families. Thank you also for supporting me daily, especially in those trying moments when the cases are not going in the direction we would like. I also want to thank my partner, Dr. Bautista, and the whole OR team, Liz, Daniel, Christy, Gil, Jeff, Gilbert, David, Dr. Donovan, Dr. Milan, and Dr. Da Costa. You do such an outstanding job in every OR case. I couldn't be more proud working with people like you every day. In addition, I want to thank Dr. Patel and the entire PQ team, Dr. Pierce and the NICU team, and a special thanks to Dr. Singh and the cardiology team for the outstanding job you do each and every day. This amazing teamwork has been crucial for getting the excellent outcomes we have achieved. I am so pleased and happy to have you all next to me. On a personal note, I would like to share a special message to my dear friends from San Antonio. Thank you very much for being our family in the US. I'm so thankful for your friendship. It beautifies our lives so much. Without your welcoming demeanor and friendship, Adriana and myself couldn't have been able to rear our kids here. Then, if you will allow me, I would like to thank my wife, Adriana, and my kids, Max and Emily. All of you changed my life without even trying. You don't 
you don't think I can ever tell you, I, I don't think I can ever tell you how much you mean to me. I can imagine what my life would have been like if we hadn't all been together as family. Thank you, Adri, for being with me for almost 25 years. Thank you for taking care of our kids when I was absent from home. And thank you for taking care of me when I am at home. <laughs> <laughs> to Max and Emily, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for being such wonderful kids, for being such good students, and more importantly, for having such a lovely heart. Daddy is and always will be proud of you both. Finally, I would like to share a special word of appreciation to my grandparents, my parents, and my siblings. You saw pictures of them early on. They can't be with me today. My grandparents are next to God our Lord, and my parents and siblings are in Argentina. But I have to tell you that without their love and support, of course, I wouldn't have been able to be here today. My family was a working class family in Argentina. And so, from a young age, I had to work to help my, with the daily expenses. Sometimes it was really hard. But being all together with our collective love and hope for the future, we overcame those difficult moments. I was able to get my medical degree and became a cardiac surgeon. And then I was able to dedicate my life to help those babies in need. This is exactly what I wanted to do since I was a child. I would like to dedicate that achievement, especially to my grandmother and mother, who always were and are with me. I want to end by telling you that I pray and ask Jesus every day to continue to give me the drive and strength to do this calling for many more years. This is my hospital. This is my hospital family. This is the place I love and the place I'm proud to be part of, the place where I would like to continue working for many more years to come. For the yesterdays, todays, and the tomorrows, I can hardly wait for. Thank you very much to all of you for joining here and me today. Thank you. Uh, in closing, in 1996, January of 1996, and I can remember the year well because it was the last time the Cowboys made the Super Bowl, um, my three-year-old son was, was sick and became very dehydrated. And San Antonio is a weird place. Julie didn't call Zachary's pediatrician. Julie called her pediatrician, who happened to be Dr. Rick Wayne says, Rick, what do I do? Dr. Wayne, what do I do? He says, I, I happen to be down at Santa Rosa. Just bring him down. It's like 930 at night. We pull up Santa Rosa, and I take a look at this place. Didn't look like this back then. And I'm not from San Antonio. And I said, why are we here? And she said, because Dr. Wayne is here. And Dr. Ninto, all the doctors, all the professionals, all the nurses in this room, you continue to be the reason why children come here. And Sister Michelle, you fill this place with a spirit that is undeniable, and we on the board could not be more grateful or humbled to serve all of you, and we wish you congratulations and all the best. Thank you.